It's Friday night. It's live improv from New York City. Hold that thought. <coughs> there you go. Live. <laughs> I'll sweep that up later. And uh, we're going to do uh, two prov now, a scene with Margaret and myself. Hi, Margaret. Are you ready to play? Yes, I am. Now, earlier today, when I was sealed in a soundproof booth, I got suggestions. Actually, they were your uh, requests for suggestions. You asked for a, uh, a location that brings up a weird memory, and I'm going to put two of them together. I'm going to use Shelly Ann Hayner's suggestion of a boiler room. And Simon Trumbull, thank you, Simon, by the way, uh, Shelly Ann and Simon, there was some very, uh, very interesting suggestions you gave. Shelly Ann's was actually a boiler room in an apartment building, but I'm going to drop the apartment building. I'm going to use Simon's uh, summer camp. And so our location is going to be the boiler room in a summer camp. And there's one more thing for my good friend, Jamie Maloney. If you ever get a chance to take a class with him, he's a heck of an improv teacher. Uh, you asked if uh, anybody inherited anything unusual, and I had to use this. I inherited my grandfather's teeth. So our suggestion, thanks to Shelly Ann Hayner, Simon Trumbull, and Jamie Maloney, is a boiler room in a suburb camp and grandfather's teeth. Are you ready to play? Then everybody else is going to yes. mute their microphones, turn off their cameras, and we're going to get started whenever we damn well feel like it. Walter, I don't know why you brought me here. You know I have bad memories from this place. I do know that, Rebecca. I know that you have bad memories of this place. When That's we were children, remember, we went to summer camp. Yep, and instead of having a cabin, we were told we had a cabin with a lake view, and instead we had this, the boiler room. Yeah, and I used to get nightmares. Your nightmares were furious, screaming things about our grandfather's teeth, which you get yourself ready. Because they're in this box. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, gross. Oh, my God. Don't tell me they're real. They're not real. Rebecca, these are grandfather's teeth. It was, it was in his will that I was to pluck them from his gums before the casket was sealed. And I did that. He really, really wanted you to get over these nightmares. And that was supposed to help me get over this. This is just making it worse. This is aversion therapy or, or some, kind of, some kind of therapy. I'm pretty sure. Oh, look, he and I looked it up on the internet before he died. And we, okay, lock it. Okay, we are locked in. Yeah, I'm locked. You locked me in. You locked me into the boiler room. Together. We're locked in the boiler room, just like when we were kids with <laughs> grandfather's teeth. Walter, you know I have these terrible nightmares. Rebecca, that's what we're trying to do. Stare into the teeth. Feel the teeth. Look at the teeth. Grandfather's teeth. You know, I couldn't stand his teeth when he was alive, and now you want me to look at them when he's dead? What's the matter with you? There's something wrong with you, Walter. You know what, Rebecca, you're right. This is, this is ridiculous. This is terrible. I'm going to put him back in the box. That's terrible. This is terrible what I have done. I, it's it's half-assed and poorly thought out. It's so, let us out. Let us out. Rebecca, there's a safe word. When I say the safe word, they'll let us out. Okay, tell it. me the safe word. Oh, it's, 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 it's easy. It's just, uh, I'll, I'll say it. Ready? <laughs> Marjoram, let us out. Marjoram. It's not marjoram. working. It's marjoram. You can't even remember the safe word. Oh, my God. And scene. That is our scene. Come on back, everybody. Marjoram is always the safe word. 
Uh, all right. Don's too scared to come back. That was uh, that was Margaret and myself playing a game of two prop. Thank you, Margaret. That was wonderful. Thank you for watching people at home. Hey, there's going to be more. So stick around.